Hello and welcome to a brand new Strobe 2 tutorial. In this video we're going to be taking a look at multi-dimensional polyphonic expression. What on earth does that mean? It's a new MIDI specification which is compatible with standard MIDI. And if you've got a controller that supports it, it allows for a much more expressive kind of playing. So I've got one such controller here. This is the Roly Lab Seaboard Rise. It's a two octave piano keyboard style MIDI controller with some additional controls on the left here. But the important thing here is that it supports multi-dimensional polyphonic expression. So let's take a look at exactly what that is. MPE means that we've got some additional ways to express ourselves using the MIDI controller. Now you'll see that this is a kind of rubbery style of keyboard and what that does is it allows you to sort of slide your fingers around the keyboard. Just like with normal MIDI we have a velocity per key which is how hard you hit a key but additional to velocity you also have several new axes of expression. The first is called glide and this is moving your finger left and right across the keyboard like so. You can see in this particular sound that's adjusting the pitch. Next we have slide, sliding your finger up and down a key like so. In this sound that's actually doing several things, opening the filter and adding some stack and detune to create a thicker sound. Additional to that, there's pressure. Pressure is a bit like channel aftertouch, except it's per key. So you can see that what we have is something that's very similar to a traditional piano keyboard, but there are lots of additional ways of expressing yourself. I'm going to take you through setting up the patch that I've got here, so that we can learn along the way how to set up all the different styles of expression. So let's reset strobe 2. So we've now just got a straight sawtooth sound. So as it's a pad, we'll add some attack and release there. And I'm also going to add some effects just to make it sound nice. So we'll start with a little bit of chorus. Nice, and then some reverb. Nice big reverb to get that kind of ambient lusciousness to it. Okay, so let's start assigning some of these expression controls. The first thing we need to do is make sure that in the preferences menu here we have multi-dimensional control enabled. This may also be labeled as MPE MIDI control. Next up, get the Performance X and Performance Y transmod sources available. Performance X is hardwired to the glide, that's the left-right slide control. And Performance Y is hardwired to the slide, which is the up-down axis control. Let's start by assigning Performance X to the pitch. Now because this is a two octave keyboard I'm going to assign it 24 semitones of modulation. That's quite a bright sound so let's take a little bit of the filter off. And by default, strobe puts in quite a lot of velocity to amplitude. I'm going to take some of that away. So that's working nicely. Now let's assign the Y control, that's the slide. We'll open up the filter a little bit and we'll also 
apply some stack and detune to really thicken up the sound and we might even bring in a sub oscillator. Very nice. So we're already pretty much at the sound I had when I started the video. Other things we might want to assign are the pressure. Now the polyphonic pressure here uses aftertouch, which I happen to have assigned to performance two here. So performance two will be our pressure source. But what I want to do here is use the pressure to apply some LFO to the pitch. So to add some vibrato. In order to do that, I'm gonna to go to the LFO source and I'm gonna change the multiplier to performance two. So this means that the LFO will be multiplied by the amount of pressure that I'm applying per key. We'll apply a bit of this to some fine pitch and maybe just a little bit to some filter cutoff as well. And that really is multidimensional polyphonic expression. Of course, you don't have to use it for traditional things like vibrato and opening the filter cutoff. You can go completely mad and assign any of these things to anything using the power of transmod. Here's an example. And that is multidimensional control of strobe 2. Tune in soon for another tutorial.